वाणिक वीकली करेंट अफेयर्स फोर्टी फिफ्थ कोलकाता इंटरनेशनल बुक फेयर टू बी हेल्ड इन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन The 45th Kolkata International Book Fair will be held in July this year at the Central Park ground of Salt Lake. The publisher and the bookseller guild announced that the decision has been taken in view of board exams and ensuing assembly election in West Bengal. National Women's Day in India celebrated on February 13. In India, the National Women's Day is observed every year on 13 February. Purpose is to mark the birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu, who is also popularly known as the Nightingale of India. The political art activist and poet was garnered with the title Nightingale of India or Bharat Kokila by Mahatma Gandhi because of color imagery and lyrical quality of her poetry in 1925 Sarojini Naidu was appointed as woman president of Indian National Congress and later first woman governor of the state World Radio Day 2021 on 13 February every year World Radio Day is celebrated on 13th of February the day was proclaimed by the Member States of UNESCO in 2011 and subsequently adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 2021 as International Day. The theme of World Radio Day 2021, New World New Radio, will highlight the service rendered by the radio medium throughout the crisis. Black Day for India observed on February 14. 40 CRPF personnel were killed on February 14, 2019 when their convoy was attacked by suicide bomber on the Srinagar Jammu Highway Road in Jammu and Kashmir Pulwama district. It was said to be the worst ever terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir since militancy erupted in 1989. A black day in the history of India, 14 February 2021, marked the two year of the Pulwama attack when 40 soldiers were martyred in one of the worst terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir. PM Modi addresses on Samarpan Divas to commemorate the contribution of Pandit Din Dayal Upadhyay. Prime Minister Narendra Modi. is addressing the party mps on the occasion of samarpan divas to commemorate the contribution of his party's founder leader deen dayal upadhyay on his death anniversary he is addressing bjp's mps at ambedkar international center janpath pandit deen dayal upadhyay was a rashtriya swayamsevak sangh thinker and former leader of political party bhartiya janasangh the forerunner of bhartiya janata party The Development Ministry launches Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship in partnership with IIM to strengthen skill training at district level. The Skills Development Ministry launched the Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship program nationwide in partnership with nine Indian Institute of Management across India. The program has been launched under the World Bank Loan Assisted Program Sankal. skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion the two year academic program will have an inbuilt component on of on ground practical experience with the district administration the nine iims include the iim bangalore ahmedabad lucknow kozhikode visakhapatnam udaipur nagpur ranchi and iim jammu selected fellows will be given a stipend of about rupees 5000 per month during the first year and 60000 per month during the second year of fellowship program madhya pradesh mandu festival starts in madhya pradesh the three day mandu festival begin at mandu in the historic town of dhar district state culture and tourism minister usha thakur inaugurated the mandu festival handicrafts related to handmade art are also being displayed in the mandu utsav to encourage vocals for locals Dino Park and Fossils Museum also inaugurated by the State Culture and Tourism Minister. ISRO test satellite developed by private sector for the first time. The first time in its history the Indian Space Research Organisation has opened its URR Rao satellite center in Bangalore for testing satellite developed by private sector. The two satellites by Indian startup Space Skills India and Pixel were tested at UR Rao satellite center isro helped these two companies fix problem with the solar panels on their respective satellites finance minister to infuse rupees 3000 crore in state owned general insurance finance minister to infuse rupees 3000 crore in state owned general insurer this quarter
the finance ministry will infuse rupees 3000 crore capital into state owned general insurance companies during the current quarter in a bid to improve their financial health the union cabinet headed by prime minister narendra modi cleared proposals to provide capital support to national insurance oriental insurance and united india insurance the cabinet had also decided to increase the authorized share capital of national insurance company limited to rupees 7500 crore and united india insurance company limited and oriental insurance company limited to rupees 5000 crore each to give effect to the capital infuse infusion decision the capital infusion will enable the three public sector general insurance companies to improve their financial and solvency position meet the insurance need to the economy absorb changes and enhance the capacity to raise insurance and improve risk management puducherry launches a campaign to become covid free by February 28 in Puducherry a campaign has been launched titled zero covid by February 28 to ensure that there are no covid 19 cases by the end of February 2021 under the zero covid by February 28 campaign all those who had come in, into contact with people infected with coronavirus would be identified and provided treatment so that the further spread of the pathogen could be prevented PM Modi unveils several development projects in Kerala. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveils several key development projects worth 6100 crore rupees at INS Garuda Naval Air Station at Kochi in Kerala. The Prime Minister said India has the ability to rise to the occasion and distribute occasion and contribute to the global good. The Prime Minister also inaugurated the country's first full fledged international cruise terminal sagarika at cochin port and marine engineering training institute of cochin shipyard limited prime minister narendra modi unveils several developmental projects at chennai in tamil nadu prime minister inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of several developmental projects worth over 8000 crore rupees at chennai in tamil nadu the prime minister asserted this projects are symbols of innovation and indigenous development the prime minister said india has the ability to rise to the occasion and contribute to the global good the prime minister also handed over the indigenously designed and manufactured arjun main battle tank to the army the prime minister asserted this projects are symbol of innovation and indigenous development he stated that the projects will further the growth of tamil nadu prime minister said tanjavur and pudukottai will be specially benefited after the foundation for the extension renovation and modernization of 636 km long grand anicut canal system was laid pakistan test fire surface to surface cruise missile pakistan conducted a successful training launch of surface to surface cruise missile which can strike targets up to 450 kilometers this was country's third missile test in 3 weeks the babur missile is capable of engaging targets at land and sea with high precision the babur cruise missile artificial intelligence was launched from a state of art multi tube missile launch vehicle exim bank to provide dollar 400 million for maldives project port import bank of india will provide dollar 400 million to maldives to fund greater malik connectivity project the agreement under the line of credit is effective from january 28 2021 the 7 kilometer greater male connectivity project will be the largest civilian infrastructure project in maldives connecting male with three neighboring island willingili gulhi pahu and thilakusi world bank signed dollar 100 million project to support nutrition supportive agriculture in tribal dominated area of chatisgarh the government of india the government of chatisgarh and the world bank signed a dollar 100 million project to develop sustainable production systems that will allow tribal households in remote areas of chatisgarh to practice round the year production of diversified and nutritious food chirag chatisgarh inclusive rural and accelerated agriculture growth project will be implemented in the southern tribal majority re- region of the state 
where a large population is undernourished and poor. Tata Motors appoints Mark Vistosella as new CEO and MD. Tata Motors Limited said that it has appointed Mark Vistosella as Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director effective from 1st of July 2021. He will replace current CEO and MD of Tata Motors, Gwenter Butchek, who has expressed his desire to relocate to Germany at the end of contract for personal reasons. Mark Tosella is an experienced automotive executive with a long track record in greenfield projects. Turn around management and leading organization as chief executive officer and managing director. PM Sri Jewel Oram launches book Turn Around India 2020, surmounting past legacy, authored by R. P. Gupta. A book titled Turn Around India 2020, surmounting past legacy, creating economic awareness among masses, authored by R. P. Gupta, was launched by Mr. Jewel Oram. Honorable PM and Chairperson Standing Committee on Defense, Government of India. National Productivity Day 2021, celebrated on 12th February. The National Productivity Day is observed every year on February 12th by the National Productivity Council. The main objective of the celebration is to encourage stakeholders in implementing productivity tools and techniques. The National Productivity Council celebrates the National Productivity Week from 12th of February to 18th of February, 2020. Odisha government to construct COVID warrior memorial at Bijupatnaik Park in Bhubaneswar. Odisha government to construct COVID warrior memorial at Bijupatnaik Park in Bhubaneswar in, in recognition of the sacrifice and services rendered by COVID-19 warriors who have lost their life fighting the pandemic. More than 60 COVID warriors, including health workers, in Odisha have succumbed to coronavirus, PM to lay foundation stone of Maharaja Suheldev Memorial. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lay the foundation stone of Maharaja Suheldev Memorial and development work of Chittaura Lake in Bahar, Baharaj, Uttar Pradesh through video conferencing. The event marks the birth anniversary of Maharaja Suheldev. UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath will also be present on the occasion. Minority Affair Ministry organized 26th Punar Hat in New Delhi. Minority Affairs Ministry is organizing 26th Punar Hat of indigenous artisans and craftsmen from across the country at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi. More than 600 artisans and craftsmen, including a large number of women artisans from more than 31 states and union territories, will participate in the event. The Hunar Heart will be organized with the theme of local, theme of vocal for local from 20th February to 1st March this year. Minority Affairs Minister Mukhtar Abbas Takwi has said that the Hunar Heart is a perfect platform to promote indigenous products of artisans and craftsmen from across the country. India to fund US dollar 50 million for restoration of three cultural heritage projects in Nepal. India will provide Nepalese rupees 142 million to Nepal for the restoration and conservation of three cultural heritage sites in Kathmandu Valley. The three sites are the part of cultural heritage projects being taken up by India for post earthquake conservation and restoration under an MOU signed between the two countries. The projects are being implemented under US dollar 50 million grant assistance committed by India for post earthquake reconstruction of the cultural heritage sites across eight districts of Nepal. The agreements were signed by the project director of CLPIU of National Reconstruction Authority and contractors for conservation and retrofitting of the Machindranath Temple construction of Dharmashala at Budhanil Kantha and conservation and development of Kumari home in Lalitpur district, according to a press release issued by Indian Embassy. US extends New START nuclear treaty with Russia for five years. The United States extended the nuclear arms control treaty known as the New START with Russia for the next five years. The United States took the first step toward making good on that pledge when it extended the new start 
that is strategic arms reduction treaty treaty with the russian federation for five years annual con convention of association of domestic tour operators of india concluded the annual convention of association of domestic tour operators of india concluded at kevadia in gujarat the convention was jointly organized by ministry of tourism and adtoi with support from gujarat tourism it aimed at building public confidence to travel for the revival of domestic tourism in the country robotics spa facility inaugurated in visakhapatnam railway station voltai division in its efforts to enhance the passenger amenities at railway station has commissioned another innovative facility called robotics spa under non fare revenue here at visakhapatnam railway station the first of its kind facility at railway station in east coast railway was inaugurated by divisional railway minister walter chetan kumar shrivastava the robotics spa comprising relaxing chair foot massager and fish pedicure spa gives a pleasant experience to the railway customers waiting at visakhapatnam railway station Punjab becomes 13th state to complete ONOR card. Punjab has become the 13th state in the country to successfully undertake one nation one ration card system. The state has become eligible to mobilize additional financial resources of 1516 crore rupees through open market borrowings. 12 other states which have completed this reform are Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Tripura, and Uttar Pradesh. The implementation of One Nation One Ration Card system ensures availability of ration to beneficiaries under National Food Security Act and other welfare schemes at any fair price shop across the country. C R E D A I and I P P be ink packed to open bank accounts for construction workers the confederation of real estate developers association of india has entered into a memorandum of understanding with indian payments and postal bank to facilitate opening of bank accounts for construction workers this labor welfare initiative is aimed at ensuring financial literacy and digital inclusion of construction workers mario draghi swan in as italy's new prime minister the former european central bank chief mario draghi has been sworn in as italy's prime minister at the head of a unity government Dra draghi 73 year old who formerly served as the head of the european central bank draghi's predecessors giuseppe conte resigned only weeks ago after in fighting among political groups over his handling of the pandemic hydro based recycle becomes first indian startup in world economic forum accelerator program the recycle a digital waste commerce solution provider has been selected as india's first member from india recycle a digital waste commerce solution provider has been selected as the first member from india for the world economic forum circular accelerator program 2021 the aim of this program is to recognize individuals and companies that are making a notable contribution to the circular economy niti ayog's atal innovation mission and commonwealth scientific and industrial research organization kickstart the is hackathon 2021 aim and australia's national science agency kick started the india australian circular economy is hackathon 2021 the concept of is joint hackathon originated in the virtual bilateral summit between prime minister of india and honorable prime minister of australia held on june 4 2020 where they committed to join circular economy innovation initiatives between the two countries AIM and CSIRO are committed towards enabling the youth of their countries to further strengthen the circular economy in both India and Australia. Priyanka Chopra dissects her life in Memories Unfinished. Former Miss World and actor Priyanka Chopra joins us.
created ripples when she announced her memoir titled Unfinished. Published by Penguin Random House, the unconventional title hints at the fact that Chopra has many more story worthy years to live. Director Ashwin Nair Tiwari turns novelist with mapping love. Director Ashwin Nair Tiwari has turned novelist with her debut fictional novel, Mapping Love. The teaser of the novel was released by Rupa Publications. Best Novel Award for Harish Misha's S. Harish novel Misha, which mixes magic, myth, and metaphor into a that has named the best novel for the year 2019 by Kerala Sahitya Academy. Writer P. Valashala and writer academician NVP Unithiri were selected for the academic fellowships, which comprises a check of rupees five rupees fifty thousand, a gold plate, and a citation. P. Ramas Ratri Pandra Tharaku Oru Tharatu was selected for the Best Poem Award, while Vinoy Thomas Ramchi received Academy's Award for the Best Short Story for 2019. Sanjita's Mandathilis Arangile Matsya Gandhikal and Jisa Abhinayas Eli Eli Lama Sabaktani shared the award for the best play. Safer Internet Day 2021 observed on February 9th. Safer Internet Day is observed every year on the second day of the second week of February. The theme of 2021, Together for a Better Internet. This year marks the 18th edition of Safer Internet Day with action taking place right across the globe. From cyberbullying to social networking to digital identity, each year Safer Internet Day aims to rise awareness of emerging online issues and current concerns. To provide safer and better internet where every user gets to use the internet responsibly and without getting their data leaked. The day is being celebrated in around 15 countries across the world. World Human Spirit Day observed on February 17th. World Human Spirit Day is celebrated on 17th February to make people aware of simple ways through which we can empower ourselves every day. It is the day to thank the higher power for what we have and what we don't have for making us and giving us the ability to touch others. World Human Spirit Day gives us hope to keep ourselves positive, to connect spiritually, etc. Isro and Map My India collaborate to bring India made rival to Google Maps. Indian Space Research Organization and Map My India, the navigation solution provider, have joined hands to offer an indigenous mapping solution to take on Google Maps. According to Map My India <coughs> CEO and Executive Director Rohan Verma, the services will combine the power of companies' digital maps and technologies with ISRO's catalog of satellite imagery and earth observation data. Pahela Fagun Spring Festival begins in Bangladesh. The first day of the spring called Pahela Fagun was celebrated in Dhaka despite the continued shadow of corona pandemic in the country. Cultural organization held programs at different venues in the city to herald the beginning of the spring. UPCM Yogi Aditya Nath to inaugurate Abhyudaya Yojana. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Aditya Nath will inaugurate the Mukhya Mantri Abhyudaya Yojana, a free coaching program meant for students preparing for competitive exams on February 15, 2021. Under the Abhyudaya scheme, those students who want to prepare for competitive exams such as IS, IPS, PCS, NDS, CDS, NEET, and JEE, but are unable to do it because of lack of resources, would be provided free coaching. Nomura projects GDP of India to contract 6.7% in financial year 21 and grow to 13.5% in financial year 22. The Japanese brokerage has projected the GDP of India to grow at 13.5% in financial year 22. The brokerage expects the real GDP to contract by 6.7% in financial year 21, followed by growth of 13.5% in 22. Kotak Mahindra Bank launches Kotak Remit. Kotak Mahindra Bank launches its outward forex remittance service, Kotak Remit, 
hence allowing its user to directly send money abroad from their phones. The feature is already live on the Kotak mobile banking app. For the first time, Kotak consumers can conveniently transfer money internationally to their beneficiaries straight from their mobile. Kerala Bank launches ATM demo vans. The Kerala Bank has launched ATM demonstration vans to promote digital transaction. NABARD has sanctioned 10 vans for the Kerala Bank from its financial inclusion fund. Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan and Cooperation Minister Kadam Pali Sundaran addresses the virtual launch. RBI, Expert Committees on Urban Cooperative Banks. The Reserve Bank of India on Monday constituted an eight-member expert committee on urban cooperative bank that is tasked with examining existing issues and providing a roadmap for strengthening the sector. The panel will function under the chairmanship of former RBI governor N.S. Vishwanathan. According to a statement from RBI, the, the committee will take stock of regulatory measures taken by central bank and other authorities related to UCBs and assesses their impact over the last five years. The objective will be to identify key constraints and enablers. The primary job of the committee will be consider the need for differential regulation and examine prospect to allow more leeway in permissible activities for UCBs with a view to enhance their resilience. Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar sworn in as the Chief Minister of Manipur High Court. Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar has been sworn in as the Chief Justice of Manipur High Court today as Raj Bhavan Imphal. Prior to this, he served as the judge in Punjab and Haryana High Court. ISA reporter Dr. Ajay Mathur as its new Director General. International Solar Alliance has announced Ajay Mathur as its new Director General following his election at the first special assembly of ISA members. A coalition of 73 member countries, ISA was established in 2015 to accelerate the demand for and use of safe, sustainable, and affordable solar energy for all. It aims to mobilize over $1 trillion of investment into solar projects by 2030 through focused advocacy, policy, and regulatory support, capacity building, and by overcoming perceived investment barriers. Dr. Madhu replaces Dr. Upendra Tripathi, who has served as Director General since the inception of the ISA. Union Textile Minister Srimati Irani rolled out commercial jute seed distribution scheme. Union Textile Minister Smriti Irani rolled out the commercial jute seed distribution scheme. Jute Corporation of India had last year signed an MOU with National Seed Corporation commercial contribution of 1,000 metric ton certified jute seeds for the year 2021-22. The government has increased the minimum support price for jute by nearly 76% in the last six years. ITC Grand Chola Bags Swatch Hotel Award. The ITC Grand Chola Bags Swatch Hotel Award. The ITC Grand Chola Hotel Gwindi was awarded the Swatch Hotel Award as part of Swatch Servection 2021 by the Greater Chennai Corporation for its sustained initiative in the solid waste management. The ITC hotels have been future ready for over a decade. All the practices implemented by the ITC Grand Chola are embedded in this core philosophy and are visible and measurable. UST certified as top employer for the third time. Leading digital transformation solution company, UST has been certified as top employer in the US, the UK, Malaysia, India, Mexico, Spain, Singapore, and Philippines for 2021 by Top Employers Institute, the global authority on recognizing excellence in people practices in the workplace. Carlos Minem, former president of Argentina, dies at 90. Former Argentine President Carlos Minem passed away. He was 90 years old. He served as La Rioja's governor from 1973 to 76 before being arrested following a 1976 military coup and imprisoned for five years. 
Taj Mahotsav observed on 18th February to 27th February. Taj Mahotsav have been celebrated successfully since 1992 in Agra in the month of February for 10 days. From 18th February to 27th February in Silk Gram near Taj Mahal, Agra. This festival involves the memories of old Mughal era and Nawabi style prevalent in Uttar Pradesh in the 18th and 19th century. Organized by Department of Tourism, Government of India, 2021 theme was 2021 theme is Together in the Diverse Culture. India accounts for 11% of global death in road accidents. World Bank. The World Bank has released a comprehensive report titled Traffic Crash Injuries and Disabilities, the Burden on Indian Society in Association with the Safe Life Foundation. The government makes fast tag mandatory on all national highways. Government has made fast tag mandatory on the national highways. All the lanes in the fee plazas on the national highways were declared as fast tag lanes. As per NHP's Rule 2008, any vehicle not fitted with fast tag or vehicle without valid functional fast tag entering into the fast tag line of P Plaza will have to pay a fee equivalent to two times of the payment applied on to that category. China overtakes US, becomes European Union's biggest trading partner. China last year overtook the United States as the European Union's biggest trading partner, the EU statistic agency, Eurostate. The European Union was the third largest trading partner for the bloc behind China and the United States. The Eurostat said the trade volume with China reached 586 million euros in 2020 compared to triple five million euros for the US. And the agency said the EU export rose by 2.2%. The agency said European Union exports rose by 2.2% to 202.5 million euros, 202.5 billion euros, while at the same time imports from the People's Republic of China increased by 5.6% to 383.5 billion euros. PM Narendra Modi to lay foundation stone of Maharaja Suheldev Memorial in Uttar Pradesh. PM Narendra Modi to lay foundation stone for Maharaja Suheldev Memorial in Uttar Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of Maharaja Suheldev Memorial and Maharaja Suheldev Development Project and dedicated it to the public Maharaja Suheldev State Medical College via video conferencing. Kiran Bedi removed as Puducherry's Lieutenant Governor. Kiran Bedi has been removed from the post of Puducherry's Lieutenant Governor. In a press communique, Rashtrapati Bhavan said, Telangana Governor Dr. Tamilisai Sondarajan has been given additional charge as Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. ICICI Lombard launches Corporate Risk Index Private General Insurer ICICI Lombard has launched the Corporate India Risk Index. This is intended to be unified standardized corporate risk index that spans industries and companies. Corporate Risk Index that used a risk management tool has been developed by management consulting firm Cross and Sullivan covering 150 top companies from its own investment portfolio across 15 key sectors. ICICL Lombard Chief Executive Vargav Dasgupta told reporters. Nigerian economists become first female chief of WTO. Nigerian economist Goji Okonjo Iwala become the first woman and first African to be appointed as head of World Trade Organization. The appointment which takes effect from March 1 came after US President Joe Biden endorsed her candidacy. Andhra Pradesh confirms Scotch Chief Minister of the Year Award. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy has been confirmed the Scotch Chief Minister of the Year Award. The award has been presented to the CM by Chairman Scotch Group Samir Kochar personally at Tedapali in Andhra Pradesh. Scotch Group Chairman Samir Kochar called on the Chief Minister at this camp office at Tedapali and presented the award to him. 
Mahinder Kanyal appointed India's ambassador to Syria. Mahinder Singh Kanyal has been appointed as the next Indian ambassador to Syria. Kanyal, who is presently ambassador of India to Suriname, is expected to take up the assignment shortly. Amazon launches first device manufacturing line in India. E-commerce giant Amazon has announced its plan to begin manufacturing devices in India. This is first Amazon manufacturing line in India and reiterates the firm's commitment to the government's Make in India for an Atmanirbhar Bharat. Amazon will commence manufacturing with contract manufacturer Cloud Network Technology, a subsidiaries of Foxconn in Chennai and start production later this year. The program will churn out hundreds of thousands of Fire TV stick devices every year. Amazon will evaluate scaling capacity to additional marketplaces and cities depending on the domestic demand. IIT Madras incubated PI BIM launches PIMO e-bike. IIT Madras incubated startup PI BIM has launched an electric two-wheeler PIMO for rupees 30,000. The utility e-bike, which is targeted at personal and commercial application, has a range of 50 kilometers. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs launches pilot pay gel survection. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has launched a pilot pay gel survection under Jal Jeevan Mission Urban. It will be conducted in the cities to a certain equitable distribution of water, reuse of water, wastewater, mapping of water bodies with respect to quantity and quality of water through a challenge process. As a first step, the ministry has decided to launch the survection in 10 cities, Agra, Badlapur, Bhubaneswar, Churu, Kochi, Madurai, Patiala, Rohtak, Surat, and Tumkur. Jal Jeevan Mission Urban is designed to provide universal coverage of water supplied to all households through functional taps in all 4,378 statutory towns in accordance with Sustainable Development Goal, six Georgian Prime Minister Giori Gakaria resigns. On February 18, 2021, the, the Prime Minister of Georgia, Giorgi Gakaria, has resigned his resignation. On February 18, 2021, the Prime Minister of Georgia, Giorgi Gakaria, has announced his resignation. Gakaria said, in a statement, he was stepping down because of disagreements within his own team over the decision to arrest Nika Melia, chairman of the United National Movement Opposition Party. Odisha government announced rupees 200 crore development package for Ma Samaleswari Temple. Patnaik announced a rupees 200 crore package for the development of 16th century shrine of Ma Samaleswari. The presiding deity of Western Odisha. That is Samleshwari Temple Area Management and Local Economy Initiatives project will be implemented during the 2021-22 fiscal year. Free gift milk to girl students of Sikkim initiative at Kantok. Sikkim Chief Minister P.S. Tamang launches the free gift milk to girl students of Sikkim initiative at Gangtok. The initiative will benefit around 1,500 students who would be provided 200 ml of milk every day. Mr. Tamang called the initiative a step toward eradicating malnutrition and other health problems among the young generation. Oxford Economics ups India's growth forecast to 10.2% for 2021. Global forecasting firm Oxford Economics revised India's economic growth projection for 2021 to 2% from the earlier 8.8% because the receding COVID-19 risk and the shift in the monetary policy outlook. The budget 2021-22 will create a positive externalities for the private sector and forecast slower fiscal consolidation in fiscal year 22 than the government projections. The economic survey has projected an 11% growth for 2021-22 added by a V-shaped recovery and a 7.7% contraction for the current year. 
It also projects a lower 6.8% growth in 2022-23. The Reserve Bank of India has projected a GDP growth rate of 10.5% for the financial year beginning April 1 on the basic financial year beginning April 1 on the bank of recovery in economic activities. Brazilian India startup satellite in ISRO's first mission in 2021 on February 28. In its first mission in 2021, India space agency ISRO planned to launch on February 28 Brazilian satellite Amazonia 1 and three Indian payloads, including one built by home group startup. The satellite are slated to be launched on board the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle P-51 at 10.28 a.m. from the Sriharikota spaceport over 100 kilometers from Chennai. PSLV C-51 Amazonia 1 is the first dedicated commercial mission of New Space India Limited, a government of India company under the Department of Space. Secretary in the Department of Space and Chairman of Bangalore Headquarters, Isro K. Shivan, confirmed the PSLV C-51 schedule to PTI. Amazonia 1 is the primary payload on board Isro's PSLV rocket. Anand is built by Indian space startup Pixel and Satish Dhawan satellite by Chennai-based Space Skills India. UnitySat is a combination of three satellites designed and built as a joint development by Jepier Institute of Technology, Shri Perum Mudar, GS Raison College of Engineering, Nagpur, and Sri Shakti Institute of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. PSLV C-51 marks the launch of country's first commercial private remote sensing satellite, Anand, on an ISRO PSLV rocket. Cabinet approves over rupees 12,000 crore PLI schemes for telecom sector. The union cabinet approved a production linked initiative scheme worth rupees 12,195 crore for telecom equipment manufacturing. It will be implemented from April 1, 2021. The decision was taken to be offset the imports of telecom equipment worth more than rupees 50,000 crore and reinforce it with made in India products, both for domestic market and exports. The support under the PLI scheme will be provided to the company's manufacturer of specified telecom and networking projects in India, like gigabyte passive optical networks, base routers, dense wavelength division, multiplexing, multi-protocol label switching, and 5G, 4G radios. Three children from Kerala selected for national award. Three children from the state has been selected for the National Bravery Awards. Instituted by the Indian Council of Child Welfare, Umar Mukhtar of Mallapuram, who won the special award, will get a medal and a cash prize of Rs. 75,000, while Jai Krishnan Babu of Vainad and Muhammad Hamras K of Mallapuram who won the general award will get a medal and a cash prize of rupees 40,000. The ICCW will also bear the education expenses of the children, including the cost of their school degree, postgraduate and professional courses, said a statement issued by State Council for Child Welfare. Former governor and noted jurist M. Rama Joy Joyce Passes away at 88. Former Bihar Jharkhand governor and noted jurist, Justice retired Manda Gade Rama was passed away at 88. M. Rama Joyce, a former Rajya Sabha MP, had also served as the Chief Justice of Punjab and Haryana High Court. Indo Park Wars veteran retired Major General B.K. Mahapatra passed away. Major General retired Basant Kumar Mahapatra who had participated in 1962, 65, and 71 war, passed away. He was 87. Mahapatro was commissioned into the Armored Corps of Indian Army as a combat officer and was fondly known as the Tank Man. Mahapatro was confirmed with Ati Visistha Seva Medal. That's all for today's current affair bulletins. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.